everyone, welcome to the Cheeky Cat Show, episode one. I'm Taylor. And I'm Bonnie, and this is the very first episode. Which will be... I just said that, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, whoopsie do. But today, we're doing something special for our first episode. Would you care to share what that is, Taylor? I would love to. Today, we are going to make chocolate chip cookies. Oh my gosh! How did you know that was my favorite? Sarcasm is wonderful. <laughs> I know, right? We sound like we're on an actual show. Yeah. Anyways, we're just going to show you how to make these things, and then we're going to put them in the oven, and then we're going to eat them. Beforehand, let's show you what you're going to need. Cookie dough, preferably by Nestle Toll House. Free advertisement. And one spoon, tin foil, and a pan. It's as simple as that. If you do not have tin foil, you can just use a uh, cooking spray. Spray your pan if you don't have tin foil, but I wouldn't use butter spray. We don't have spray, so we're just using tin foil. We only have butter spray, so we're not going to use that. Okay, so first you want to do get your pan ready. Second, you want to preheat your oven before you start scooping. <laughs> preheat your oven. To 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, another tip: if you don't get a uh, pre-made cookie dough, you can also do homemade recipes and make your own cookie dough. I'm sure the same directions apply. Is this preheated? Yes, ma'am. It's preheating right now. We're gonna take a small spoonful of each one, and we're just going to throw it onto the pan, just like that. It's still a little frozen. But, you know, that's okay. You want to make them at least two inches apart so they don't, like, collide with each other. We'll, we'll fit around at least 12 cookies on the pan. If you have any leftover dough, well, you can eat some, first of all. Or you could just make more cookies later. And make sure you wash your hands right before. We don't want your poopy fingers in our cookie dough, do we, Bonnie? Oh, heavens no. Taylor! Don't listen to the directions, people. You always want to eat raw cookie dough. Even if it does have salmonella and bacteria in it, and it could give you food poisoning or kill you. Definitely. I always take the risk. Alright, now that we got all of them on the pan, oh, they look so good. They already look delicious. No, and they're not even baked yet. Okay, now we're just going to wait for our oven to preheat a little bit. Yeah, because this oven is a little crap. Bake for 11 to 12 minutes until, or until golden brown. Let's just put them in for 10 and see how they look after that. We'll be right back. Please stand by. We don't have any friends. Or a life. We're just, we just stay at home all day and rot in our house. Yep, story of our lives every day. Monday through Sunday. Alright guys, so the timer is about to go off and, well, I just messed it up, but, so, it's off now. <laughs> Let's take it out. Let's see how these cookies look. Alright, that oh, looks baby. a lot better. Oh, baby. Let's see, let's let the YouTubers decide. How do these cookies look? <laughs> Heimlich! Now that they're done, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Bye! See you some other time! Thanks for watching! Yummy! Hot and dangerous. If you're one of us, then roll with us. Cause we make the hipsters fall in love when we got our hot pants on and up. And yeah.